just the opening line of what information can I get for you has been huge. Yeah. It starts, it starts the conversation so much faster and we're able to get right into the meat of it. Right. And let's think about this. And like, let's say somebody calls you. All right. And even if they're not calling you, they filled out a web form. There's one thing that every single person that reaches out to you wants. Yet, until we think about it, we never figure this out. The one thing that they want, whether they're a prospect wanting to know what your price is or a current client wanting to know where their bill is or your manager wanting to know where the TPS report is, every single person that tries to reach out and touch you wants information. So if we simply pivot from how can I help you, which is said as reflexively as how are you doing, what's up, how's it going, these are all things that we say. How are you doing? What's up? What's going on, Matt? How can I help you, Matt? Are all things that we say reflexively, means without thought. And when we hear these so much because people say them reflexively, we respond reflexively. All good, Matt. What's up, brother? I'm doing great. I'm just looking. How can I help you? I'm just looking. All of a sudden, you get put in that box of, oh, here we go again, salesperson conversation. So if we just pivot, what can I get you information on, right? And let's say somebody reached out to Matt. It was Matt that asked the question, I believe. But let's say somebody reached out to Matt B um, through a web form. Matt could say, Matt, how do I pronounce your last name? Barba? Yeah. Hey, yeah, it, Barba. hey, it's Matt Barba with Easton University. Wanted to reach out to you personally, right? They're always going to say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Matt, how's it going? It's going great, going great. What can I get you information on? Right now, just as you're finding, Matthew, that the conversation is now put on rails, right? It's going that right direction. Great, great point.